Okay, so I'm doing an upgrade project. I am upgrading um, in uh, one of my cars. I'm upgrading all of the speakers. Um, the speaker that my SRTA came with were these. These are Boston Acoustics. Boston Acoustics. The model number uh, is 29961P. These were manufactured by Daimler Chrysler during the time when uh, Daimler owned, um, you know, the majority stake in Chrysler, which is what brought about the 300C in the first place. So, um, basically, they don't actually, I, I don't think they make these anymore, and whatever you find online is all you can get. I've checked the price of these speakers online, and these speakers are roughly $100 a pair, and that was the cheapest I found them. So these are Boston Acoustic speakers. The 300C SRT8 stocks Boston Acoustic speakers are very powerful, actually. Um, they have um, a pretty good bass, and they have their own separate uh, tweeter for high frequencies. So these are actually relatively good speakers. Now, I bought, in the, in the 300C SRT8, you have um, 6x8s in the doors, and you have 6x8s in the uh, rear deck. Now, I bought these Kicker DS693s, and I had planned originally to put these in the, uh, the doors, and I also planned to put them in the uh, rear decks. Unfortunately, the problem is, and you can actually see it, these Kickers have a gigantic magnet. So, like, if you take a look and you compare the magnet in these Kickers to the magnet in these Boston Acoustics. Put them side by side. You see these kickers have a gigantic magnet, which is something I've come to expect from kickers. The magnet in these kickers is so big, the problem became that I couldn't put the kickers in the door without being able to roll down my window. So that was definitely a problem. So what ended up happening was I chose instead to go for a set of uh, Clarions because these were roughly the same size as the Boston Acoustics. The Clarions, um, this model is the SRG6932R. For If you're considering buying Clarions, um, one thing I will warn you about is in my personal opinion, the Clarions don't sound as good in the low frequency. Like, there's not as much bass coming out of these Clarions as there are coming out of these Boston, I'm, I'm sorry, these Boston Acoustics. I felt that these have way better bass and these have way better high frequency mid balance. Like the, the mids aren't really all there unless you're using an amplifier. But if you really got the money for it, you can go out and get you some of these right here, these kickers. These are three way speakers. These things are banging, especially if you have an amplifier. These things are, are just banging. My, my favorite speaker company is Kicker. In fact, when I actually do get a uh, 2014 or a 2013 SRT8, I'm upgrading all the speakers to Kicker, even if it has the 19 speaker uh, combo, simply because I personally prefer Kicker. Um, the the bass that these things put out, and you can see the, the build quality is these, of these. The, it's like the bass is the best that I've ever heard. The Kicker L7s, I have a, um, a, a built box in my uh, garage for the guy to put in. The Kicker L7s are my favorite speaker of all time. I have a Rockford Fosgate um, 2001 BD amplifier to run those big bastards, but in my opinion, those are the best. So um, if, you're, if you're in the Chrysler 300 and you have to replace a speaker, I really recommend that instead of going for Clarion, I really recommend that you get Boston Acoustics if you can still find them online. Because when I looked on eBay, all I could find them for was about $100 for a pair. So that's my recommendation to you. Now, as for your rear decks, these 6x9 kickers will fit in your rear deck because you don't have to worry about the window rolling up because there's no window in the rear deck. If you have a car that has big doors, consider the kickers. If you're a person building a custom uh, door frame, okay, yeah, you can go with the kickers because you're probably going to add your own space to it. So that's just what I recommend. But if you're about to build a box for your trunk, I really recommend that you spend the extra money and get the Kicker L7s. I have a dual 12 box, and um, I already um, I have them installed in that. But I'm only going to keep that in for the summer because I like having my trunk space 
And um, I was also considering getting some of the um, custom enclosures off of eBay so that I could put two kickers in the trunk without that big box. But uh, I haven't fully decided what I want to do. But uh, this is an ongoing project, so uh, I'll let you see what happens as it comes out. Drop, drop it on the bitch, make it nasty. Make it nasty. Make it nasty. Drop, drop it on the bitch, make it nasty. Oh, what kind of subject? Oh, this is um, 15. Isn't that bad? Quantum audio, yeah. I just throw those in. I have other ones, but I ain't put them in. I just keep these out. Wow, nice. Sounds good. And he, they, they custom put the uh, speakers, like, in the sides? Oh, yeah, I did all that. Oh, you did that yourself? Oh, shit. Sound good. Okay. What what happened? You had to bring it up. Oh, no, no, no. You supposed to order some five like in Montana. Got a white bitch named Hannah. She gigging off my grandma. Pop that titty, call the shit Janet. I'm on straight goose, jump a canna. Hoes like I'm Santa. She Jimmy too, no sandals. Flipping bitches like they all channels. I want one hand on my handle. Hammer time, then I'm dancing. Got real hawks in Atlanta. Square your face for that mansion. Uh, tell about she prancing. What's that polka dot to your panties? Who's cool the boss? Tony Danza. No, you lazy niggas can't stand it. We got four doors and more. Horse, oh, you got more? Horse, short horse, you got more? Oh my god! <laughs> How do you get that big ass box? Well, what's in the box? That's it. Just been two? Those are 12? No, it's 10. Oh, shit. Okay, nice. 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 Nice.